recording. And we left off with the main character being like, um, I'm pretty sure it'd be cold whoever is out on such a cold night as this, but I nodded anyway. And do you know what this word is? Mitsumeru. Hi, what does it mean? Yeah. To 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 uh, happen upon something. Good guess. That's mitsukaru or mitsukeru. Mitsumeru with a me right here is actually to gaze at something, just to stare at it. Mitsumeru. So, me with like I right there. Me. <laughs> to gaze. To gaze. Hi. Um, do you happen to recognize this kanji? Yes. Hanasu. Hi. It does look a it doesn't really look like hanasu, but it does end with su. Um earlier we saw this kanji in kae, kae, kaeru, kaeru, like this, kaeru, which is to return. So this right here is actually kae su. So it's pronounced ka and then e. Kae. Kae su. To return. Um, how could you add mitsumeru and kaisu together to make one word? Mitsume kaisu. Mitsume kaisu. Perfect. Um, this this right here means to basically to look back at somebody, but in like you're gazing at them kind of way. So to stare back at somebody, to return a stare. So let's go read our text from the book. Neburi ga ore o mitta. Ore mo mitsu me hanasu. Not hanasu. How is it pronounced? I'm sorry. Kaesu. Yes. Hi. Um, so what does this mean? Neburi stare at me. I also stare back at him. Nice. Okay, so we're doing a quick little kanji check from last week. Do you remember this guy? Samui. Hi, and this guy? Mini. Perfect. Me. And can you read this line for me? Nari mo mienai totsufuyaku. Hi, totsufuyaku. Totsufuyaku. Hi, what does this mean? Nari mo mienai. Didn't see anyone. To quote. Uh, subayaku. 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 Quickly. Subayaku oh, no. is to mutter. To mutter. 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 And I mutter. Hi. To mutter. Didn't see anyone. Yes. So in English, when we say the word anyone, it kind of insinuates a person a little bit so just because of that i would say i don't see nothing here versus and i don't see anyone because anyone feels like there's a human which would be dare right from who dare mo mi and i would mean i don't see anyone which is kind of mm. weird yeah so nani mo is, is no no thing no thing. No thing i didn't see anything yes. could be an event could be a a thing hi I get it. And do you recognize this um, kanji? Yes. Receiving something. Hi. Um, uke, ukeru. Perfect. Ukeru. Nice. So let's go read our next sentence. Nimo kakawa ratsu. Nani ka ga uketa. Nimo kakawa razu is a word that basically means, um, Unexpectedly. So it's a long phrase. Everyone's like all freaking. So How what is it? Is unexpectedly or um something that it goes against what you would expect, you know? Right. So what is the sentence? So unexpectedly. Say? Nani ka ga ueta. Nani ka mean nothing, no thing. Ga uketa. Didn't receive anything. No, no. So, receive something. Yes. 
exactly um, so unexpectedly or in spite of or whatever i received something so uh this can also be like in spite of might be a better way to define it so hi it's, Nimo kakawarazu. Yeah, it's a long word. Um, do you recognize this kanji? Um, the kanji for bad, Hi. which is uh, warui. Yes, warui. Perfect. And can you tell me what this means? How do you read it? Warui koto o subuyaku to mumble or to, to mumble something bad yes mm, the mumble yeah. something bad <laughs> so always letting us know this isn't a direct quote and just saying he's mumbling something that's bad <laughs> um, exactly. here's our next word can you read it for me yes uh hitori goto hi so goto has to do with speech and hitori ha means um like one kind of is what this is and it sounds just like hitori which means alone different kanji but this is when you talk to yourself this is when you do a monologue hitori goto um, and uh, let's go read the sentence nani ka ga uketa to hitori goto no you ni tsubayaku Let's remind myself some grammar point. Yo ni is to be similar in a metaphorical sense. Yeah. Or a We know it's an uh, action. So we're, we're modifying the verb in yes. this kind of way. Yo ni modifying tsubayaku, nice. meaning mumbling in a way that is hitori koto no. So... Um, mumbling in a way that is uh, mumbling to myself. To, quoting, nani ka ga uketa. Nothing received. No, something received. Yes. Receiving something. Received something. Received something. Yep. So muttering as if talking to myself, I received something, or they received something. Something was received. Okay. Um, our next adverb is ping ping. Ping ping is to be um healthy, to be genki. Ping ping. Yeah. To ping, be genki. Ping, steady. Hi. So this ping, would take to or sudu, depending on what we want to do. So here is it with sudu. Can you read the sentence for me? Hi. Um. Warui Mado Mado Majutsu shi wa ping ping shiteru. So shiteru to be in a state of doing, to doing something. Ping ping shiteru mean doing healthy, doing genki. Oh. Uh, the topic Warui Majutsu shi. A bad magician is being healthy. Yes, he's being healthy. Very. Energetic, very lively. A lively, very bad lively. magician. Perfect. Hi. And next is toku. Um, which one of these do you think we need to add to toku? Toku, adverb. Therefore, a tick, ni. Hai, ni. Toku ni. Toku ni is a way to say especially in Japanese. Special. So this is Hi. especially blank. Uh, can you read the sentence for me? Um, toku ni warui chikara o uketa. Uh, otoko no ko wa shindeiru. Hai. Shindeiru is to okay. be dead. Okay, dead. Being dead. Hai. So, shindeiru, being dead. The topic is a boy. Okay. A boy that receive a bad power uh tony tony is especially right it's yeah especially so you could so say a boy uh, that especially received bad power 
or it could be he's especially dead. Uh, it's probably especially received just because normally adverbs modify the closest verb that it's going to hit. So normally this verb's like, it's mine now. <laughs> you know, uh, first A come, boy first serve. who receive um, an especially bad. Hi. Um, I don't know. It's how... more like especially, especially receives. Receive. Okay. He especially so receives. He... <laughs> it's, he it's, especially. It is kind of a weird sentence that... in this case. That means he received and no one else. It's particular to him. Yes. So he, particularly him who get to receive this bad power, is now dead. So, so. Or being, dying, dying in the state of dying or dead. Hi. So yeah, it, especially it's kind of weird here in these uh, sentences I made with these. Um, I... But yeah, here's another sentence with it. Don't think too hard. Just say like the word especially. Okay. <laughs> okay. Seeming like mieru to to be seen by something. So seeming like having re ha not receiving a bad power. Hi. So, so it doesn't really especially not... seem like he received a bad power. I wonder if there's a better word for especially than hokuni for translate. Because it makes sense to me, but like it's sounding weird when we're translating it. Uh, not really hokuni. particular. So you don't particularly seem like you received a bad power, I guess. Particularly. Mm. Specific, like you had, uh, answered earlier. You don't specifically seem like you received, you didn't. So this is Dennis. You didn't specifically receive bad power, it looks like. Mm. Hi. So me and I can be slurred as me in. This is pretty Hi. like masculine and kind of old me in. Uh youngins, I feel like don't really see that. They would just say uh me and yeah. That would be um like a younger. <laughs> Matt flurring, but yeah, me and kind of oldie. Um, Hi. okay. So first off, this oru right here. Before we read it, this is the same as iru. Oru is just old man. That's that's it. So iru will turn into oru, so it sounds like an old man. Um, Professor Oak from Pokemon does the same thing. In case you're curious, but yeah, let's let's Hi. go read our sentence. Um. <laughs> Nemo Kakawaz Razu Bin Bin Shite Oruna Nebri wa Hitori Goto no Yoni Subuyai Ta Tokini Warui Chikara o Oketeiru Yoni Mo Mien Okay Two okay, two quote, one quote, a quote inside of another quote. Right. Um, so, as uh, was it, uh, Nemo Kakawara uh, suddenly, no, it's not really. It's uh, unexpectedly or in spite of unexpected, unexpectedly. Um, pin pin shite oru na. So. This is describing Neburi. So, hap, lively, oru is being, right? The state of being. Yes. Um, But this is oru instead of iru. It's just like an old man way of saying things. Yep. Okay. So, he, he, um, unexpected, unexpectedly, uh, Neburi, lively, uh, hitori koto no yo ni so spara I, I want As to if he... pause here real quick. Um, this this right here is one quotation. Someone's saying this out loud. We know an old man is saying this out loud. So it's nobody, right? Nobody's saying this out loud, not Khan. Um, it'd be odd for nobody to randomly say, hmm, in spite of what I expect, I am quite healthy. Like, that's... <laughs> it's, I mean, he could say that, but I would I would give him the benefit of the doubt that nobody is kind of talking to the kid, like making an observation about the child in front of him, who's the thief. 
So uh, okay. in spite of what I would think, you're quite healthy, aren't you, boy? Basically, ping ping still na. So that that would be my assumption, and I think most people would make that assumption. Though theoretically, you're right; totally. it could be that, but that's unlikely. Okay, so Nevri is saying this um, unexpectedly. You're quite lively, aren't you? Uh, kind of a thing, and then. Um, Okay, and then it say hitori goto no yo ni suba. Oh, he 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 mumbling he mumbling this quote, right? Uh, to himself, as if to himself, um, as if to himself. Right, because we can't read uh, nobody's to mind. Toku ni warui chikara o ukete iru, uh, exp uh, expressively. Um, receiving a bad power yonimo miren. It doesn't seem like. Yeah, I don't really see. It, it doesn't. It also like the no. The mo is the also right. So it also doesn't look like you have received any especially bad things. Bad power. Um, and here this wadui chikara just means like some kind of bad thing would happen to him uh in the english version it's pretty different um this line i think it's like um ill ill effects i think is what they did in the english version um but uh <laughs> they do what do each got here which is kind of funny very magical he didn't receive bad. any black magic kind of feeling <laughs> yes um, hi and then here is what khan thinks upon hearing that what does khan think Khan thinks, Warui chikara, nan no koto da. What? Meaning, um, bad power, what is that? What do you mean by that? Uh, what going on with this oru that? being the same thing as iru, um, inai is oranai. That's the negative form of oru. Um, and then oranai can be slurred to oran, just like the mien we saw a second ago. This one is very old slurry. So just a normal old would be oranai, but then when you want to slur, it becomes oran. So this is the exact same thing as inai, oran. So yeah, what does nobody say? Because who else is going to be talking like that? Uh, mada namai o kiete oran na oranai. Ah. Mother, namai o kiete orana. I haven't heard your name yet. Hi, perfect. Just as a random tip, this uh, you're doing a little bit of an English um, rising like intonation here. So you're doing kie, kiete, but this is just kite. So you don't really need a bloop bloop like you do in English. It's just kind of in this case, it, I I would say like flat because you're not taking e. Uh, you're not changing. <laughs> you're not changing e into an s sound. Uh, in Japanese, but in, in English, we love this thing called a schwa. So all our words, we add this uh sound, which is like a uh sound. So that's I think that's just you trying to get closer to that uh, Englishy. But yeah, it sounds weird. Cause said kie kie sounds like to disappear rather than kite. Um, cause like kite kite disappear something so yeah hi. oh man hi <laughs> 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 uh right here is a new verb can you read it for me yes sukumeru hi this is to shrug super useful word and it is actually a new verb shrug sukumeru um sukumeru. What part of the do we think we use when we say shrugging your shoulders? Kata ga tsukumeru. That's a good guess, but shrugging actually has intent to it. So it's actually o. Ah. Hai. Hai. Sukumeru. To shrug. Transit. Uh, so using the big boy words. Uh, do you know what tsumori means? Tsumori. Intention. Hai. Perfect. Can you read the sentence for me? Sentence. Kata o tsukumeru tsumori da. I intend to shrug my shoulder. 
Perfect. And our next word is goma kasu. Kind of funny, like kanji. You got ma from maho, ka from like henka. Uh, this means to deceive. That is not how that goma word kasu. Spells. Goma kasu to deceive. Uh, I think the goal mm-hmm. comes from a monk to complain. But um, what do you think we'll do here to say I deceive the magician? What particle is missing? Deceive the magician. Watashi wa majutsu shi o gomakasu. Perfect, because you do that on Look. purpose. <laughs> um, I... What does the sentence say? Sentence say, Kata o tsugumete gomakasu. What do you think this Goma, means? Uh, to deceive. Gomakasu. To deceive tsugumete. Sukumete. What sukumete again? Sukumete to was shrug. shrug them, shrug, shrug, and then deceive, deceptively shrug. Yeah. No. <laughs> it is okay. Kind of. It's like the shrug to, and like it kind of like saying to, uh, to to um deceive. I shrug so I deceive him. Kind of. It's that kind of ah, like, he... so connection between these. Got a link right, right here. He did. De- he denies something that. Isn't true. So so. <laughs> like That'd he, he put example. his hand up, kind of like I don't know. I don't know, but you kinda do like know a, yeah, <laughs> type of uh, you know. insinuation. Yes. Hi. Uh, next, we're learning no de. You've seen no ni in the past, which sounds a little bit complaining, saying even though something happened, no de is kind of like because. So because of this, the next thing happens, but it doesn't have like necessarily. There's no time really related in this. So some of the other ones we've seen definitely have a time correlation going on this right here is more like a thought i would say relationship uh for example can you read the sentence for me gomakasu tsumori de wa nai no de having no intention of deceiving thus Kata o sugumeta. I shrug my shoulder. Exactly. Perfect. So that's exactly how you'd use it. I had no intention, so I did that. So it's kind of like a so. So because I had no intentions to do this, I shrugged. So works good. You just kind of have a little bit connection between yours of both of these being complements to each other. Um, so Interjection. Hi. Um, how can I differentiate the use of no de from kara? Or some other kind of... Um... Kara is very aggressive. because So even though I wrote no de here, it's not really the word because. Uh, your your original definition in the sentence you did example was a better example of it. Kara is very aggressive. It's very much the word because normally. It's it's really like... It, it's not like if I said... um, You could say kara here if you wanted to. It's just it's more aggressive. It's very, it's a lot more... That, that's the difference really. You could the sentence would still be grammatical. I said, "Goma kasu tsumori de wa nai kara kato sukumeta," but no de is more just like you have two sentences that complement each other, so they're both like mm. in agreement in logic, basically. So this is like logical agreement, and kara is very much the reasoning behind all of your actions. Like it, they're they're both reasoning, but just kara is more aggressive reasoning than no de. Um. That's kind of why I have the word cuz here rather than because. Cause um because in English it's a little bit more aggressive than cuz, but maybe like so is is like the the trade between what you should use. Uh no day um is polite. So like it's it's not like so in English that is a little bit like friendly, you know. Um, but it has that less aggressive um because in going on. <laughs> It's funny how, hey. like, the word aggressive is, like, the best word I can use to do the difference. Hey. But, yeah, so, in any case, you could use kara. You can use no de as a substitute. I don't think there's any time you couldn't. I see. Uh, but no de really shouldn't end the sentence. So, if the, like, sometimes you can, like, drop things, but it's a little bit weird to end with no de. Like, no ni, for example, we can end. Kara, you can end. But no de, as I said, it's kind of just complimenting. So it's kind of like random unless like maybe we're moved this in the front. Maybe. 
Mm. Like, it'd be more natural if you wanted to end your sentence and have this dropped. Uh, kata would be more likely to appear. Or just like, no, da. <laughs> that act- actually, that might be the same thing grammatically because the te form of da is de. Oh. Yes. That's probably no, what da. that is. Uh, so that no, is no, 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 da. It's also a way to have an explanation. And th- this is probably the same word. That's so interesting. Mm. Oh, linguistics. No, it is. It is the same. It's Clearly, the same it is. It's it's just the te form, which is the relationship we mentioned before, where te form um tells you that this is related to the second action normally, and then no has that cuz meaning. So that's just very interesting because you're not taught that in school, like if you're learning Japanese, that these are the same yes. grammatical point. But you're right that we're right. That is the same grammatical yes. point. That's so funny. It, fe- it feels. <laughs> It feels to me at this point when you bring that up is basically this this saying, this happened and then this happened. Yeah. They both kind of happen. Yeah. <laughs> like a toll, but not exactly a toll. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a very, it's a light, non-aggressive and with connection between these with a little bit because in it. So, so use cut off. You really want to stress that cause and effect relationship and use no da, no de if um you just want it light not not making it aggressive hey yeah that's agree learn you learn new things every day uh anyway i want you to say i did not plan on telling him my name so i shrugged so right here teaching is the word you'd use for telling and we have your vocab list down here hi i did not plan on telling Okay, so Oshi and I Oshi and I no 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 Oshi e Tsumori de Wanai. Okay, but I need to be in this in the dictionary form. Hi. So Oshi e Tsumori de Wanai. Hi. Um no de. Namai o. Oh my goodness, I missed it. Hi. I Where should shrug. Namai go, do you think? Namai should be in front of this sentence. Hi. Perfect. Namai o oshueru tsumori de wa nai no de. Kata o sugume. Hi. Perfect. Huh. Good job. So now nice. I have two clause with two o. Is that okay? Yes. Um, every clause is basically its own thing. Theoretically, what you're not allowed to have is wa, marking a subject multiple times in a sentence. So wa can be in a sentence multiple times marking topics. So you can have like twenty wa's, but they're all marking topics. Only one of them can be marking a subject. Um, and then toll between clauses, um, you can kind of have two different subjects in that case, but this right here should have the same subject, which in this case is I, I is the subject in both these sentences. So you could have orewa in here, but yeah, you can have as many O's as you want. The rule for O is every O needs to have one verb. The verb needs to own an O. So... Since we have two verbs, Mommy, we can, can I have clarify? Hi. Um, so here we have an a, an instant where the verb is connected to another word, and the reason we use the dictionary form is because sumori is a noun. Yes. Otherwise, if was if it wasn't a noun and we were connecting things, this oshieru would have need to be modified into some. Yes. Some other form. Well, sometimes you can make a compound verb, which you've done some practice with, which is basically stem form plus the other verb. Um, another option would be using te, like we've done. So you'd have another te here. So oshiete, then you'd have like your second whatever going on here. In that case, it kind of separates these another into verb. like another clause a little bit. Um, but yeah, it, since it's a noun, this right here is a relative clause describing tsumori. 
教えるはい。教える。つもりではない。あ、uh,、yeah, はい。So, yeah, so this wa right here is a topic wa, basically. I had no intentions of that,、uh, but theoretically, it's like the normal way we just end things. Okay,、right. that, that was educational. I learned something. <laughs>、um, so, right now is our halfway point. So, I'll see you in two seconds. Bye.